Hi, Smart Home Sunday, Paul here again. Today I want to give you a very good look at my lighting automation setup using Home Assistant with the Philips Hue system. So, first of all, give you a little bit of a demo. I've got the Philips Hue app running here and I want to show you the default behavior of the Philips Hue app. So I've got this set to Office Bright, Bright. Now if I turn the light off and I turn it back on, it's gonna go back to the setting it was. So if I set it over to concentrate, now it's concentrate, I'll turn it off and I turn it on, it goes back to the scene that it was previously on. So it returns to its previous state. That's all good. Home Assistant isn't doing anything. Now let's put Home Assistant into the picture. So here I have three automations, but the one we're interested in right now is Office. I'll turn the automation on, and now I'll go back, I'll turn the lights off, and now I'll turn the light on. Ooh. So it didn't return to concentrate. No, it did not. It tried to, if you see that kind of flash that happened. I'll just switch it over to concentrate. Let's turn it off. I'll turn it on again. Ooh, flashed up a little bit more there, didn't it? Yes. So let me explain what's happening. When I turn this on through the app, it's telling the Philips Hue Hub to turn these lights back onto the last scene that we set to. So concentrate. But at the exact same moment, there is a little signal from the Philips Hue bridge being sent to Home Assistant that says, hey, that light, it's just been turned on. I thought you wanted to know. And Home Assistant says, I did want to know. Yes, thank you. Let me just check what time of day it is. It looks up on a little if-else statement and says, oh, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's just after midnight. This is the setting that you should be on. And so it runs a little script, and that then sets the light temperature and the brightness of those lights. Very nice, very quick. Let me just try that again for you. Press the button, and it's working super, super quick. Now I can override the setting. So what I'm actually looking for, I'll show you the uh, uh, automation. Let's have a look at the automation here. So what I'm actually looking for is when that light is turned on. That's when the automation runs. What does it do? It looks up in this little table. Oh, this took me some time to figure out. And it says, what is the time? If the time now is, let's have a look. It doesn't match any of them. So else, run script dim but it also passes this magic little variable here group id 15 now 15 relates to in the philips hue system the group id for those lights so they're group 15. how do i know that well you can do some calls to the philips hue hub and you can say tell me everything that you have set up and then you can find in the list the numbers so the script let me show you the script since uh, last time we looked at this in last week's video, let's have a little look here. So you can see the structure here. There is each script energized, setting up this field group ID, uh, for example, passing 15, then it runs a sequence. So it's calling uh, the API, the REST API command. It's another video on that. Uh, and then we're passing through these variables, group ID, whatever the group ID was, the, the automation passed over to the script. So that's where the 15 is being passed through. And then uh, the API command sends to the Philips Hue Hub, hey, group ID 15, change that group to this color value and this brightness and do the transition to, it's 200 milliseconds. So it's a bit of a, give it a bit of a, a breathing moment. It's fast, but it's not so <clears throat> jarring fast. It's just kind of, ooh. I've tried a few different numbers and speeds there, and this is what I like so far. So uh, there's the script. 
I'll go back to the automation. I'm going to set a new automation up. What's actually quite nice about the way I've got this running is I can just reuse the same automation, change a few things. So I've already set one up for the kitchen cupboard, set one up for the kitchen. Now the good reason to have a separate automation for each uh, group of lights or each room is, for example, if we have a look at the kitchen cupboard, in there I've set up some different timings. So I want that concentrate and energized light uh, during the first part of the day. But in the evening, if you turn the cupboard light on, you still want it quite bright. So it'll go down to script relax, but it's not going to ever go to dimmed. So it's never going to turn the lights too low that you don't see what you're doing. So in the middle of the night, you, you want to feel nice and relaxed if you're making a little midnight snack, but you don't want the light to be so dimmed. So because I've got different automation, I'm able to set that up. I'll, I'll set a new one up. Uh, so we'll just go into office and I'll just uh, duplicate and I'm going to create one for the dining room. Now I need to find one of those dining room lights. So I'm going to trigger this based on when the dining table light is turned on. Down here, let's check. Now the group ID is actually nine. I looked it up earlier and I'm happy with the rest of the settings. So if it's between six in the morning and 10, it'll run energize. If it's between 10 and one, it'll run concentrate. If it's between one and 6 p.m., it'll run the read. Between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., it'll run bright. And then from 8 p.m. to 11, relax. And then any other time. So basically, uh, between 11 and six the next morning, it will be dim. There it is, and so have this uh, group ID number nine in there in place. Hit save, and now I have another automation and another room in the house that can take advantage of this automated lighting system. There are probably some other ways I can make these scripts and automations even more clever, but this is what I'm gonna go with. Let's see, this time next week, come back, subscribe, I'll have another video for you, and the most important person in the house will tell me whether this is working. So this is now live everywhere in the house, not testing anymore. So let's find out what Yenny thinks next week. Has it been working? Hopefully I'm all smiles, smiles next week. Uh, I'll try and go into some more detail if you're interested in this. Let me know in the comments and I can try and do a, uh, a bigger all-in-one video of this uh, adaptive lighting setup. This is what I'm going with right now. There's many reasons why I'm doing it as kind of a piggyback or a next layer on top of the Philips Hue. I can go into that another time. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. We'll just try it again. Hang on, here we go. Oh yeah, it works. <laughs>